All right, let us look at how one will define style information using an external file. Here we have our very simple web page and you can see if you looked at the internal video first that we've changed the content of the sentences and here it reads an external style sheet is ideal when the style is applied to many pages with an external style sheet you can change the look of an entire website by changing one file. Let's take a look at this web page. Here inside of our paragraph tags we can see the sentence as I just read to you. And right up here we have our link. This links to a text document called mystyle.css which contains the style definition for this page and any other page that uses the same style definition. So if we pretend that we have a hundred pages all looking equally ridiculous as this one all linked to this same style sheet we can edit that style sheet and it'll change the look on every page like let's say we want to change the background we'll make that a not super red but red we'll reload the page and there we have it equally ridiculous however we only had to make this change in one file. So the use for an external style sheet is to allow you to keep your style information in a place where changing one file will effectively change the look of any number of other files. Your style sheet can be system-wide, it can be uh, used for your whole website or just a small number of pages within the website. The way you would do that is let's say we have my style and my style 2. So let's change that to my style 2, reload the page and you'll notice we're back to just the standard default style, black on white. and let's change this to green that should be a nice different color we load the page and there we have our green okay here's test two and we'll have this page use the original style. So if we now look at that page, that's using style sheet 1 and then test is using style sheet 2. So you could have a certain number of pages using one style sheet and another set of pages using a different style sheet. This can be nice for making distinction between fact pages or commercial pages. I like to use external style sheets primarily because I can transport them from website to website with ease. All right, I hope this gives you some clue on how to ex link to an external style sheet. Um, one other thing of note is this href here does not have to have the style sheet in the same directory as the web page. You can link to a uh, relative or absolute 
uh, folder. Like I have a folder called SSI where I put my uh, style sheets and SSI pages. Of course, when I link to this now, Oops, did I save? Okay, it's, it's going to My Style 2 SSI. And so we look for page, and there it's gone, as we can see. But then if we just move, now the page is in the right folder. There you can see it right there. So the browser is able to find it. Now in my case I was using an absolute reference. I'll show you what that is. By starting with the slash at the front I went to the top of the domain and then to the SSI. But since this file happens to be the parent directory to SSI we could have left that off and made this relative. So now we have a relative link. And this will work just as well. All right, good luck with your external style sheets.